this video will show you how to upgrade your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. The upgrade is free and it can be done without data loss under normal circumstances. It will not affect your existing files and settings. And you are eligible for the upgrade if you met these certain system requirements. 1 GHz or faster processor with 2 or more cores. 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB storage, UEFI firmware with secure boot, DPM version 2.0 and a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card or iGPU. All of the newer PCs or most if not all PCs that were released after Windows 11, this is not an issue you should bother with. But some PCs might fall under the hardware incompatibility due to the lack of three specific most common core requirements. There are unsupported CPU, DPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. There is a high chance that your PC lacks some of these requirements, especially if it's from the pre-Windows 11 era. Some of them are fixable if you're lucky. I will show you how to potentially solve or approach the issue as we progress into the video. But now we have to make sure that your machine is compatible for the upgrade, or to find out what core requirements does it lack in the case of incompatibility. You can easily do that by downloading a tool called PC Health Check App from Microsoft. Link to this particular page will be in the video description. Once you are here, click on this link called Download the PC Health Check App. It will download the tool to your computer. Now go to the download location and run it. Check the box I accept the terms and click install. Once it is completed, you can launch the tool. On the tool, click on the button check now. That will instantly check your PC hardware for Windows 11 compatibility and show you the result. Fortunately, this PC has met all the core requirements for Windows 11 and is ready to receive the upgrade. If there is an issue, it will show you a different message which says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. In that case, you can click on the see all result button to pinpoint what caused the problem. In some cases, it is fixable like adding an extra stick of RAM or enabling the secure boot on your motherboard. Or the TPM 2.0 also known as FTPM or firmware TPM if it's available to you. Check your motherboard manual or search online to see if this feature is available to you. If yes, you can simply enable them in your UEFI firmware settings and run the compatibility check again. For most desktop motherboards, even if you don't have TPM 2.0 inbuilt, you can add a discrete TPM module, something like this, and choose the option Enable Discrete TPM or similar settings on your UEFI firmware settings. But it's a bit of challenge to find one that is compatible with your specific motherboard. Hope your hardware is compatible with Windows 11. For those who receive a positive result, follow along for the upgrade. For those who are not currently eligible for the upgrade due to hardware incompatibility, please try those aforementioned tips and come back for the upgrade. And to state the obvious, this will not work on a pirated Windows 10. So let's get started. To upgrade a Windows 10 PC to Windows 11, you're gonna need a tool called Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Download the tool from the official website, link will be in the video description. Once you get the tool, go to the download location and run the tool. It will ask your permission to run, so click yes. Now before we begin the upgrade, I would like to say something. That no matter how much you design to do the upgrade without data loss, there is always a chance of something going wrong. So I recommend you to back up your important files before proceeding any further. In my personal experience, I have never experienced something like that while the upgrade. But that doesn't mean it will not happen to you. So be prepared. Also make sure you have plugged into the wall if it's a laptop or make sure you have a constant power source if it's a desktop. With that understanding, let's continue. On the Windows 11 Installation Assistant, click the button Accept and Install and that will start a 3-step process which includes downloading an official copy of Windows 11, file verification and finally the installation. It will take a long time so do not interrupt the process, let's wait for it to complete. And there we go, it has finished the initial process. Now we'll ask you to restart your PC to continue the Windows 11 upgrade. It will allow you a period of 30 minutes to finish your unfinished work before the automatic restart. So this is the time to save your work if you are doing something important. Now click the Restart Now button that will close the Windows 11 installation assistant and will show you this pop-up, saying you're about to be signed out. Close the window and wait. Windows will restart your system and begin the last phase of the upgrade. No matter how long it took, do not interrupt the process. So let's wait again. 
Once it is over, it will ask you to log in. Just use the same PIN or password as you previously used for your Windows 10. And it will start preparing your desktop. So let's wait for a bit long. And there we go, we have successfully upgraded your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and share. This is your host Amal Rafiq. See you soon with another one.